What's up, man? 25 Gamers. Today we're going to be taking a look at this week's tip of the week. And uh, this this week's tip of the week comes to us from a formation I just wrote down at Scheme of the Week. The Wing Trips Wing New York. And this is a money route, money concept. And you can do this out of multiple formations. It's not just this formation. It's more or less this play. And you're going to look for the specific play that you need to find. So what we're going to do is we're going to look in our formation. I'm going to bring it up here. The play is the Empty, empty New York. Whether it be the empty New York smash, the empty fake screen, when the running back goes out to the, the that position, there's something that happens, and it, it, you you have to audible to this play. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Let me just check. Let me just make sure real quick. Double check. So let me see. Oh, you don't have to audible. Okay, so you don't have to audible to this play. You could just come out in it. So you could put all three of these as your audibles, and you could run different things. But we're gonna we're gonna talk about just a, a specific part of this play. We're not going to talk about all of it. We're just going to talk about what we can do with this, why this is such an effective concept, and how you can do it from a lot of the other formations. Okay, guys, so the play is the empty new, empty fake screen wheel is what we like to use. You could also use the New York Smash or the New York Screen. They all work the same. What we want to do with this is we want to... So we see the running back over here is out here. So if we... You know, last year what we would like to do is we like to put running backs on wheel routes because you could not hot route a wheel route to a wide receiver. In this case, the running back's a wide receiver, so we can't hot route a wheel route, right? Wrong. So what we're going to do is we're going to put him on a wheel route how we would normally do it. So we're going to hit triangle, triangle, and we're going to flick the right analog stick up. You're going to see it's going to put him on a fade. That's what should happen. Check out what does happen, though, if we do it again. This is where it gets... This is where it gets funky. Uh, this is where the tip is. We do it twice. Now he's on a wheel route. And now we have a man beater out of this play, out of a hot route. Alright, that's good. That's good, right? That's awesome. But what, what else can we do with it? What else can we do with it? We can put him on a block and release route as well. So we're going to drag him. We're going to put him on a drag twice. He's now on a block and release route. And look. Look at that. That's just like that's just something you could do. It's not good against man. It's not. I'll be honest. It's not good against man. Don't do it against man. If they're in a zone, if they're if they're they're in like uh, you know, they're in cover two sinks. They're whatever. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Just say they're in a zone. Okay, they're in a zone. We put him on the block and release route. We motion around. We just come over here, dot it to him. Just quick, quick yards. It's just it's just something. It, it it's it's just something they gotta think about. And, uh, you know, what else can we do? What else can we do? We can put him on any of the running back routes. That's awesome. Uh, you just have to do it twice. So, again, the tip is you hit, you have to put him on whatever route you want him on twice. So, if we want him on a swing to the right, then we got to hot route him to a swing to the right two times. And then he's going to go to it. And you see he's going to come underneath here. And what we can do is dip him behind there. And that's actually a nice little play you can use. It's just to mix stuff up, guys. This play is a money play on its own. We have smash concepts to the outside. Now we have this little swing pass we can do to the running back. Get him underneath and, and get him with some blocking. Another thing you could do with him is put him on a swing route to the... Or not a swing route to the right, but you could put him on an option route. And this is money, guys. Look at this. Hold on, let me get... Let me get let me get these guys out of the way. But we're going to put him on an option. We're going to smart route it. And we're going to pass, uh, bullet pass it to him. And we're going to use or catch it. And the, the corner is not going to react to the ball. And again, it's, it's just such a, it's such, it's, it's something they have to guard against that they don't want to. See, there's the option route. And then again, if we wanted to wait for it to break, I mean, there's no reason we can't like it to break to the outside. I mean, there's, there's, that's going to beat man too. So you see, that's that. And then real quick, uh, let me see what else I could, I wanted to show you guys. What was the running back running back hot routes up here? Oh, that's right. The swing route to the left. I almost forgot the most important one. Swing route to the left. What's going to happen here is it's going to work like a, a, a wheel route, but it's better. The reason it's better than a wheel route is because you don't have to do anything. So here we're going to put him on swing route to the left. Wait a little bit. He's going to come back to the inside. It's basically like one of those routes that you see sometimes with the – it's like a, the play is like play action pin deep out of the single back bunch where the wide receiver goes to the outside at an angle and then comes up. That's what happens on the swing route. When we put him on the swing route two times, it's going to make him on a running back swing to the left side of the screen he's going to go out stop and then he's going to come in and it's going to crush man coverage guys crush man coverage let's take a look at this against zone and show you show you how this this last hot route works because this last hot route is probably the most it's probably the best overall one in this in this thing you see we put it on a zig and then we put it on a zig again and he's going to go on a swing now goes on the swing and we can just throw it right there and look at that. I mean, it's just like, eh. It's like, eh. Like, how are we going to stop that? You know, that's this route. And this route's money, guys. And, 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 you know, I don't do money plays. I don't do that. I don't I don't talk about that all the time. But look at this man coverage. We're in man coverage. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at that. 
So what's going to happen? Watch this. What's going to happen? Man switch. Nope. No man switch. Boom. It just, just like blows blows my mind how effective this this these plays are. And I don't know if they're going to patch this. I don't know. They probably should. To be honest, this is kind of you know doesn't need to be in the game. But this is this is something you know, this is something we can use to our advantage. And uh, obviously, you can still use your catch the wheel rats. No reason you can't like that. You can also still put him on every hot route you want him on. So, for example, if you want him on a wide receiver hot route, you can easily do that. So, say I want him on a comeback. Or, excuse me, not a comeback. Say I want him on a uh, a fade. There's no reason I can't. I can put him on a fade. And he's unbumpable. He's unbumpable. Like... This 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 is the this is crazy like this is like, you do so much with this. Uh, I want to put him on. I want to put him on a, a smart routed out route. All right, your prerogative. Look at this. We're not smart route. I don't know if we can smart route. What's this? Eh, I can't smart route him. No, but, I mean you, the only thing he loses is the comeback route, but. Man, this is this is this is good stuff. And then we got the curl. It's unbumpable. That's like, oh man, this is such a good, such a good lab, such a good tip, guys. Such a good tip. You guys are gonna be able to use this. I, this is crazy. Block and release route. That's hilarious. And he just comes out and watch if we wait. Look at that. He's a, it's a swing way out, but it's a block and release version. Oh my gosh, dude, this is this is crazy. You guys are gonna get a lot of a lot of W's off of this one route alone. And. uh if you wait, so you see, wait, 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 and then it goes, and like, so if they're in a coverage defense, you can use that, but always, there's just always something you can do, guys. Uh, I really like this, if we swing him to the right, what happens here, let's see, he just floats upfield, but look at this, this is kind of cool. If we swing him to the right, it's going to work similar to what, like a drag would. Alright, let me just get everybody up. Look at that, look at how he crushes man. Like, you just click on your sketch, and like a cover zero situation, so if they call cover zero, and they and they press it, or they, they man align and press, so here, you see, man up on him, and we see, we see okay, they're cover zero blitzing me, I'm going to put my running back on a, a fade, watch this, unbumpable, unbumpable. And I mean, you could just—I mean, just throw it up. I mean, you know, another thing you could do is if they're if they're, if it's a situation where you know they're they're trying to run another cover zero blitz, well, we could put him on a wheel route. It's gonna work the same way. So again, it's the same kind of concept as a streak. We're just okay. We see blitz. Okay, we're just gonna lob it up. We're just gonna lob it up, and he's gonna beat him. We don't have to click on. No big deal. This this is money, guys. This is a great tip. Uh, if you guys don't think this is a good tip, let me know why. But I think this is a really good tip because both of those guys are unbumpable on the left side of the screen. We can do a lot with it, and, and this can be found in, in, in several formations. I think in Kansas City, there's a uh, a formation called the empty bunch, or like the not the empty bunch, but like a, a hidden. If you go into the shotgun bunch, because it was in Philadelphia last year. If you go to shotgun bunch, it's like the empty bunch Philly verts or something. I can't remember exactly, but I think that's it. And then there's another one out of um, New Orleans. New Orleans has one similar to this. So check out those playbooks, guys. You can add it into your arsenal if you guys use those playbooks. If you don't use those playbooks, you might consider it. This is a really good route, guys. And, again, you can do this out of anything. So I think you can actually – let me see if if we went back to – if we just had like – okay, so let's just look here. I just wanted to show this. So if he's a if he's a regular running back – and we motioned him out, and we tried to. We said, okay, we want to put him on a flat or streak or whatever. See, now we can't. We don't get those running back hot route options. So that's unfortunate. But now, like I say, like with what we what we've learned from that video, from this video, is now we're going to be able to do it out of out of those uh, out of those clutch formations. Uh, so just check that out, guys. Check out that tip, guys. I really think it's effective. I probably didn't need nine minutes to explain it to you, but uh, I just got I just got going on it. Uh, I think this is really important. I think it's going to change the game. I think it's something that you can use tonight. Uh, and get better. Uh, again, just check it out. Out of these formations, uh, obviously you guys want to use your hot routes to set up other route combinations. But as a as a starting uh, a starting 
point to build a scheme. I think this play is a really good one. So check it out, guys. And it's out of uh, several different formations. Find formations that have an empty, uh, have a, a hidden thing that says like empty something. And uh, I'm sure you guys can do it from that formation as well. So thanks for watching today. If you guys like the Tip of the Week series, be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you are already subscribed and you still like the Tip of the Week series, you want to show support, you can always share it on Twitter for me. It really helps me out. Other than that, guys, that's all I got for you. And I'm, I really hope you guys have some success with this. If you guys have any, you know, if you guys have anything you like to say about this, comment below. Let me know how you're doing. And I uh, really appreciate it. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you tomorrow.